Hey everybody, welcome back to Astrology with Alec. This is Sagittarius. Or should I say? That's the glyph right there. Sagittarius is represented by the archer. A mutable fire sign. So fire being an element that changes and transforms all that it touches and mutable being the quality that refers to changeable. So there's a restless energy with the sign. Mutable fire. It's ruled by the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is Jupiter as a planet represents represents oh, I just unplugged my computer. Technical difficulties. And it's fixed. So Jupiter as a planet represents expansion, expanding your horizons. It's the planet of fortune. So oftentimes there's, a, there's an element of optimism with Sagittarius. They, they will keep going. They, they have a restless energy. The mutable fire is a restless energy that is almost continual motion. They're not usually people who like to sit still so much. And we can, it's helpful to consider the archer when we look at this. The archer is each time pulling back his bow and aiming at a new target. So if you miss your target when you're, when you're shooting with a bow, what do you do? You pull back, you shoot another arrow. So this is the spirit of Sagittarius. It's like they're, they're gonna keep, they're gonna try and they're gonna try and they're gonna try again until they hit that target. And oftentimes they're fairly optimistic about going about this pursuit. So there's there's kind of like this this playfulness that goes along with that. It's also a vision, like seeing from afar the goal that you want to hit, seeing your target, and and saying. I can get there. I can. I can reach that thing. So there's there's this expansion in the phys physical realm in terms of traveling. Sagittarius are restless travelers. They like to go and see lots of different places. Oftentimes, even with moving, like they won't they won't live in the same place all that long in their life. They'll move and they'll move and they'll move and then move. Could also take place just in their you know, in the terms of short trips, like traveling around the city, taking lots of little journeys. So that's the physicality of it. The symbolic way to describe it is like, is expanding to different horizons, exploring with your mind the places that you can go, the things that you can see by considering different ideas. Sagittarius likes to find their ideas on their own. Not that they won't listen to people at all, but when they've made up their mind about something, they just know. They know they're right. They have a, they have a real powerful sense of certainty once they've made up their mind about, about something. It's a sign that, that brings a lot of philosophers, teachers, preachers. Also artists and poets, but there's there's this there's a sense of 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 going out and traveling, seeing the world, and then bringing back your bringing back your knowledge to share with the people. That can be taking place either in the physicality of the world or through intellectual exploration, going out to see these new places with your mind, and then coming back and being like, "Here's what I found." So there's that element of philo philosophical teaching with this sign. My friend Corell, if you guys went to Warren Wilson College with me, he's a very good example of the Sagittarian spirit. Always seeking new knowledge. A seeker of knowledge, Sagittarius. Mutable fire, when we look at that, when we look at that as a as a phenomenon in a landscape. 
a useful way that I heard it described is actually like a, a brush fire, a wildfire that transforms a whole swath of landscape. Sagittarius does that by with their words and the landscape being the human mind. So they're like a brush fire, just kind of tearing through with their with their new ideas, with their philosophies, and transforming the landscape, transforming the landscapes of the human mind. So that when we look at the fire trine, we see first Aries the spark, and then they're the they're the match, the ignition point. Leo is the fixed fire, and that's the hearth, the candle, the fire that burns in the same place. And then the third of the fire trine, Sagittarius, the mutable fire, the brush fire or the wildfire, transforming the entire forest. So Sagittarius is the third fire sign, meaning symbolically they're like the, the older, older, wiser fire signs. With Aries, there's this like youthful playfulness that, that really, you, you see time and time again with Aries people, it's like there's this, there's this kind of like wide-eyed enthusiasm to experience the world. The Sagittarius being the final fire sign, it's more of like this, this older wisdom, like I've seen it all, I know it all, like I've seen, I've traveled many miles and I have wisdom to share. <laughs> doing these all freestyle so I'm just like <laughs> just diving right in there freestyle astrological monologue here I know there's uh, Jim Morrison a famous a famous Sagittarius and Jimi Hendrix two kind of similar similar but different personalities but definitely they, they had that wildfire effect of just like <laughs> transform that whole transform the whole landscape with their with their ideas new ideas that they're bringing and there's like this this pioneering this feeling of i'm going out and doing this you can follow me if you want but i'm going so that's an exciting thing about sagittarius super fun some playful playful nature with that sign And the opposite, the opposite of Sagittarius is Gemini. So Gemini is mutable air, Sagittarius mutable fire. And when I think about the interplay between those two signs, what I think about is, is Gemini thinks, they like to analyze. They're, they are extraordinarily, um, extraordinarily right brain or is it oh man i keep getting those two confused <laughs> now, whatever is the logic logical rational mind is is uh the the one that i'm not <laughs> i go i go powerfully on the creative mind and the logical rational mind is what is the one that is a little more of a challenge for me gemini is like hyper rational Sagittarius, on the other hand, knows. They just know. And it's almost like, it's almost like frustrating. It's like, do I have to explain this to you? Isn't it obvious? I know. Gemini's like, but why? But why? Tell me why. Tell me more. You know, where do you get that idea from? Set your sources. Sagittarius knows. So there's that polarity there. But there, it can be a good match between the two. If they can, if they can get along, they can teach each other a lot. So the reason why I'm doing these videos is to help people to understand themselves and help us to understand one another. Because I believe it, it is a magical step in the direction of peaceful human relations to make an effort to understand one another. So that's what we're doing here. If you want to go more deeply into your birth chart, 
send me a message and I can do a specialized birth chart reading for you. It's all about your chart and where you want to go with that picture. So it's an astrological birth chart and a manifestation. If you want to see more of my videos, check me out on YouTube. Just search my name on there. And my art is at narwhal.com. Thanks for watching today, and you guys have a lovely evening. Next up is going to be Capricorn. Coming for another round with the goat.